नमस्कार आई एम डी वेलकम यू इन इस डेली वेदर रिव्यू प्रोग्राम टुडे इज टेंथ अप्रैल ए बी सी स्टडीज रियलाइज वेदर मेनली सेंट्रल इंडिया इंक्लूडिंग मध्य प्रदेश विदर्भा दीज टू पॉकेट्स यस्टरडे वॉज सो एक्टिव इन टर्म्स ऑफ थंडस्टॉर्म लाइटनिंग गस्ती बिंड्स एंड ऑल्सो रेनफॉल सो अकॉर्डिंगली हेल स्टॉर्म एक्टिविटी रिपोर्टेड ओवर मध्य प्रदेश विदर्भा एंड मराठवाड़ा रीजन and gusty winds of the order of 60 to 70 kmph reported over madhya pradesh and of the order of 80 to 90 kmph over uh, reported over vidarbha especially over nagpur region and uh, isolated hail storm activity also reported over sikkim especially in gangtok city so these are the some of the hot spots in terms of thunderstorm activity including madhya pradesh vidarbha and maratwada region and the over sikkim region otherwise uh, over northwest india west india and remaining parts of the country no significant weather reported uh, during past 24 hours and yesterday no heat wave conditions reported uh, uh, over any parts of the country except some uh, isolated uh, at one or two st- one station over north inter karnataka otherwise uh, no heat wave conditions prevailed over any parts of the country and also no warm night reported over any parts of the country accordingly above normal temperature by 2 to 4 degrees celsius are being reported over uh, northwest india including delhi where uh, in delhi also uh, temperatures maximum temperatures are above normal by 2 to 4 degrees celsius and they are in the range of 38 to 40 degrees celsius and uh, over rest parts of the country temperatures are uh, either normal or below normal category so we can say that our normal temperature is northwest india northeast india and some pockets of kerala and isolated patches over uh, uh, karnataka and maharashtra interior maharashtra region and if we see today's synoptic systems so we are having one western disturbance over afghanistan as a cyclone circulation in lower tropic levels with a trough locked over the same region uh, and uh, there is a cyclone circulation over southeast rajasthan in lower tropic levels there are two troughs one north south and another east west so north south trough runs from the southeast rajasthan to northern parts of coastal karnataka across interior maharashtra and second trough is runs from southeast rajasthan to northern parts of bangladesh across uttar pradesh bihar and sub maharashtra west bengal so these are some of the important synoptic systems under these synoptic systems uh, mainly uh weather warning has been issued uh, today red color is given uh, to west mp and vidarbha because of uh, uh, thunderstorm lightning and gusty winds of the order of 50 to 60 kmph and also hail storm activity expected uh, over this region accordingly orange to red color is given to madhya pradesh and vidarbha region and yellow color to uh, given uh, some parts of east india and parts of north west india including uttar pradesh Rajasthan and western region including Jammu Kashmir Ladakh Himachal Pradesh Uttarakhand and some pockets over Sikkim and uh, Arunachal Pradesh and Assam Meghalaya otherwise our rest parts of the country including south and central india no significant weather in terms of rainfall and storm is expected uh, during next 24 hours and on 11th of april again orange color is continue for madhya pradesh and vidarbha because of likely continuation of thunderstorm lightning gusty wind and hail storm activity over this region and yellow color is given to inter maharashtra chatisgarh and parts of east india including bihar jharkhand gangetic west bengal parts of northeast india including arunachal pradesh assam meghalaya nagaland manipur mizoram tripura and also over sikkim region and a fresh spell fresh spell the same region same scale of spell uh, over uh, jammu kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand likely to continue on 11th and from 12th another fresh spell is expected under the influence of fresh western disturbance over jammu kashmir and accordingly thunderstorm warning is issued for jammu kashmir and rajasthan region over central india this activity likely to reduce however yellow color warning is issued to uh, madhya pradesh and orange color warning to vidarbha and inter maharashtra also likely to witness thunderstorm activity on 12th of april and this uh, thunderstorm activity also uh, likely to commence over south and central india including andhra pradesh tamil nadu and karnataka region on 12th of april so this is weather warning for day 3 and uh, under the influence of active western disturbance uh, especially hills area and plains area of northwest india including jammu kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand punjab haryana rajasthan this region likely to uh, receive thunderstorm lightning gusty wind and hail storm activity on 13th of april and heavy rainfall is also expected over jammu and kashmir on 13th of april thunderstorm dust storm with speed reaching occasionally 50 to 60 kmph also expected over rajasthan region on 13th of april on 14th again heavy rainfall likely to continue over 
Jammu Kashmir and fresh spell spell of heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh is expected on 14th of April. Otherwise, over most parts of northwest India, isolated activity is expected over Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, and Rajasthan in terms of thunderstorm, lightning, gusty wind, and dust storm activity is also expected on 14th of April as well over Rajasthan. Over central India, again thunderstorm, lightning and gusty wind is expected on 14th of April and some activity is expected to continue over Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Telangana, Telangana region on 14th of April and North East India again this uh, uh, thunderstorm activity uh, likely to increase on 14th of April over North East India. As regards rainfall distribution, so today uh, scattered rainfall is expected over Central India, including Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, and Chhattisgarh, with thunderstorm activity and isolated to scattered activity expected over parts of northwest, east, northeast, and adjoining Maharashtra region and Telangana and interior Karnataka and Kerala today. And on tomorrow, this uh, uh, scattered activity is expected to continue over Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, and Chhattisgarh and adjoining Maratwada region. And isolated activity is expected over east, northeast. South Central India, parts of Northwest India, especially Rajasthan and Uttarakhand region. On 12th of April, this activity of Central India is likely to continue. However, thunderstorm intensity is likely to reduce from 12th of April over Central India. However, rainfall is likely to receive in terms of scattered activity over Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha, India, Maharashtra, Telangana, and South Central India. So these patches, uh, light green shows uh, isolated activity and dark green shows uh, scattered activity. So other than Punjab and Uttar Pradesh and along the west coast, including Gujarat and Maharashtra and coastal Karnataka, or rest parts of the country likely to witness isolated activity, acti uh, isolated to scattered activity uh, because of thunderstorm activity. <coughs> On 13th of April, this spell will increase and uh, fairly widespread to widespread activity is expected over Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand region, adjoining Punjab and Haryana region, isolated scattered activity over most parts of the country except dry weather is expected over Madhya Maharashtra and uh, North Interior Karnataka and Konkan and Goa region. Otherwise, over most parts of the country, isolated activity is expected uh, uh, due to thunderstorm activity. But main activity on 13th and 14th is over Northwest India. Again, again, I am telling on 13th and 14th, this activity I just expected over Northwest India. Accordingly, uh, this uh, color is given dark blue and light blue color shows fairly widespread to widespread and dark green shows scattered activities. Accordingly, Northwest India uh, will be most active uh, in terms of uh, weather because of fresh active western disturbance on 13th and 14th. And this will spell continue on for 15th as well. However, peak, acti peak activity is expected on 13th and 14th of April over Northwest India. Again, we will summarize. Because of fresh active, active western disturbance, a fresh spell of thunderstorm, lightning, gusty wind, and hailstorm activity is expected over northwest India, and heavy rainfall is expected over Jammu Kashmir on 13th and 14th, and on 14th over Himachal Pradesh, and hailstorm activity is expected over northwest India on 13th and 14th of April. And the second point uh, again we are monitoring and we are again mentioning that thunderstorm, lightning, gusty wind and hailstorm activity is expected to continue over central India including Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha and adjoining areas of Marathwada and Chhattisgarh region today. So this is the summary for today. We will update tomorrow. Till then Namaskar. Jain Jai Bharat.